Hello. Okay. So we're going to prove that a sequence converges using the definition of convergence via the epsilon n style proof. So recall the definition of a sequence converging. So a sequence Pn in a metric space x comma d converges to a point P in x if for every epsilon greater than zero there exists a natural number n such that for all n bigger than or equal to that capital N we have that the distance from P of n to P is less than epsilon. So let us prove the following. Let us define P of n to be 3 minus 4 over n plus 1. So from basic calculus knowledge, we know, or intuitively we know that as n goes to infinity, 1 over n tends to 0. So this denominator will get big, hence the whole fraction will get small. So we know intuitively that p sub n will converge to the value 3. Um, so this is actually a sequence in the metric space. Our metric space is uh, the real line. So let's uh, prove the following. We're going to prove our claim. We're going to prove that the limit as n goes to infinity of this piece of n is exactly equal to 3. So to do this, first we need a little bit of scratch work. So I'll put our scratch work off on the side here. You must always do some scratch work before these proofs, but never turn it into scratch work. The scratch work is just there to give you some idea on how to write the formal proof. So our desire is to have the distance from p sub n to 3 be less than epsilon. Remember, our goal with all these proofs is that we're given epsilon to start, and we want to exhibit the capital N networks. So distance from p n to 3 is less than epsilon if and only if well, our metric is the, on the real line, and our Euclidean distance is absolute value. So we're talking about Pn minus 3 is less than epsilon. This holds if and only if our definition of Pn, 3 minus 4 over n plus 1 minus 3 is less than epsilon. This holds if and only if absolute value of negative 4 over n plus 1 is less than epsilon. The threes cancel. This holds if and only if absolute value negative 4 times 1 over n plus 1 is less than epsilon, a property of multiplication within the absolute value signs. This holds if and only if 4, 1 over n plus 1, it's our definition of absolute value, holds if and only if 4 times 1 over n plus 1 less than epsilon. This holds because n is always greater than or equal to 0. Because we're talking about n values, we're in a sequence, so n is, n is uh, indexed by the natural numbers. And then lastly, or not lastly yet, by inverting we have n plus 1 over 4 is greater than epsilon, which means n plus 1 is greater than 4 epsilon, oh, which means that, oh, did I do this right? Yes. Oh, sorry, 1 over epsilon. Which means 4 over epsilon is less than n plus 1. And lastly, subtracting one from both sides, 4 over epsilon minus 1. So if little n is bigger than 4 over epsilon minus 1, this is true, this holds, 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 and finally, blah, blah. So now, this is our scratch work, which we don't turn it into the formal proof, but we can guide this public's guide to our formal proof. So our formal proof is the following. Let, let epsilon greater than zero be given. 
every single convergence proof will start with the same line. Um, I'm going to set capital N to be equal to 4 over epsilon minus 1. That's what the scratch work gave us. And then we want to show that for all little n bigger than this capital N, bigger than or equal to this capital N, we have the following. We have um, for all n bigger than or equal to n, we have that the distance from Pn to 3 is less than epsilon. So this is what we want to show. So we're basically just doing the signs backwards. Um, so since n is greater than, since n is greater than n, greater than n, we have the following. So we have the following. We have n greater than or equal to 4 over epsilon minus 1 implies the following, that we can add one, we can subtract one from both sides. And actually, I can also just say for all n strictly bigger than n here, I can just take that also. Uh, we, should, we can subtract one from both sides, or add, sorry, add one to both sides. We have n plus 1 bigger than or equal to 4 over epsilon by adding 1 to both sides. Which implies that epsilon over 4 is less than, is greater than 1 over n plus 1 by inverting. Which implies 4 over n plus 1 is less than epsilon by multiplication by 4 on both sides. Which implies, I'm just basically going up this chain, 4 times 1 over n plus 1 is less than epsilon, since, and we can say since, um, so you can just keep the 4 in there, since 4 over n plus 1 is positive, and we know that because of the n values themselves, n is a natural number. And hence we can write negative 4 over n plus 1 is less than epsilon since negative 4 equals 4 on absolute value, which implies that 3 minus 4 over n plus 1 minus, minus 3 is less than epsilon. And what did we do there? We just added and subtracted the 3 by adding and subtracting 3. And I'm running out of space here, but this is our last line. This is the definition of the distance from Pn to 3 is less than epsilon, as desired. So should always end the proof after this line, we should say what we have shown. Hence, for all n greater than n, we have p sub n converging to, uh, we have distance of p sub n to 3 is less than epsilon. Hence, or thus, the limit as n goes to infinity of the piece of ends is equal to 3. QED. So that's the way we finish these proofs. Basically the point is we go through this scratch work and then we just run it backwards. The miracle is the end that we were given from the scratch work. From that point on, if that's correct, most of this should be correct too. Okay.
but 